It's BDS versus the blue wall. There's really not much to say here. Managed to win three on a trot and then couldn't secure a single one in the next four attempts. Carmen Corp, they don't want it to be that close. And Rise starting off the scoring for the blue. Playing with house money here, but they will, of course, still feel the pressure oh. from Team BDS, especially with passing plays like that. From one end of the pitch to the other, midfield finds Jolly, finds Monkey Moon, finds Corner, Exotic, and then success at the end. Ball ends up falling towards Rise. No boost for Jolly. Was hoping that mid boost was going to spawn. Instead, Rise goes towards that side wall. Boosts up instead of going to the wall. Wants to get there as quick as he can. Exotic over the top. Jolly's going to receive. Only Rise to beat. Okay. It's near target. Anyone to shoot. Who else but Monkey Moon? They start to swarm. Nothing from it yet. And 20 seconds gone. Rise though puts it into the corner. Monkey Moon is already up there, beats it away. Carmine Corp, they've not gone behind in series so far in this single elimination playoffs and they still might not. It falls to Atto and he makes no mistake. He seconds, Carmine Corp will smell blood as Vatira puts it into the center. What's a duke it between them all? Not quite done this time. Monkey Moon has to get some boost, but he gets those reinforcements. It's looking like they're gonna have to be holding on now. Vatira, another demo comes in from Atto oh! and Rise stabs into the heart as well bottom corner found for rise but six seconds bds going up against one of the best kickoff teams in europe a chance for them to upset with atto taking it very safely towards the side nobody being too crazy on the side of calming corp that one pinching long is gonna hit the ground calming corp reset open for rise kc three tier oh. to the ceiling with oh. the reset oh. and then the double the tira grand final magic he just kept on going first the flip reset bounces off the ceiling oh, 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 passes Charlie. Oh, oh. rise is there as well for some reason why not the team all players again from the backboard monkey bin and Charlie fake oh, no. completely oh, no. deceived <laughs> you just knew you just knew when Atto went up, he had a rise in front of him. He hunts down Monkey Moon, then he turns his attention to Exotic. He's trying to snake his way around, but for not too much longer. Atto doesn't even need the flip reset. Rise is taken Final out. Turn. Who cares, say Carmine Cole? Eight seconds left. We can keep you out for this long. We can keep you out for a few more seconds. It's going to be 2-0 to Carmine Cole, and Team BDS are struggling to lay a glove. The Rise homing missile is turning into one of my favorite assets. I want to see all of them in the Carmine Corp half, really try and make them struggle. They're getting each other's way, but it works its way in and the buff works. Pinch in top corner. Thank you very much, says Monkey Moon. Atto and Vatira bumping each other respectively. And it will run across his body so That's he can bring it up. And then here he is again. Exotic is coming online. A man on fire, Exotic, in this entire event so far. Flicks it high, forces Vatira, forces Rise as well to make a decision and then shy away from it and he can then carry on we've seen how much kc go for these pre-jumps if you there it is of course down the other end exotic mm -hmm. playing with carmine corp last season they mm -hmm. dropped him so the fact that he's the player for team dds now who really is coming online and waking up is brilliant sign for him but Matira goes to the ceiling it's a great first oh. touch then he gets the bump oh my goodness oh. they're all involved none of them can get a touch until rise steams him and scores a conveyor belt our Carmine Corp using this bump meta a bit too often in the What's facing. Happening? BDS are waiting because they're not sure whether to go for the ball or not because Carmine Corp oh, 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 never make it clear oh, oh, oh. what they're attempting. A fake after fake after fake. Rise, he booms it long and follows it up yet again. Just kicking this hornet's nest of the BDS defense over and over, fearlessly, tirelessly. But here come Team BDS. Rise into the corner. Exotic is waiting. He goes for the pass. It's the right decision. Oh! Moon scores! Can't jump up. BDS, a late winner potentially, but final five seconds. We've seen what six seconds can do. A double fake kickoff. It will not be what Carmine Corp wanted. Now Drali just to the floor and you get the win. He will secure it. BDS! All of that to get another Carmine Corp player out the way. Reduce congestion. Bouncing it over the top. Monkey is going to be the savior on this end and pinching towards the other side of the pitch. This ball not Ooh, finding shot. its home or any alliance in either side. And then a shot ripped on net by Exotic. BDS a lead. Here he is again, Exotic. Clean finishing has taken Carmine Corp to major victories before.
Atto is still there. Where is Fatira? When is he coming oh. in? He's waiting, but the opportunity just not coming. BDS send it away yet again. Rise tees up one more chance. Exotic says no, at least for now. Rise now up high with enough boost to get some real distance on it. Vatira is up next. The one, the second, oh. but nobody central. Look at these highlights now, and Vatira making that save just to keep things as terrible. The redirects, the fancy plays. Two chances, one for each team. Both go begging. Monkey Moon maybe doesn't oh. miss this one. <laughs> BDS are turning this ship around. And Monkey Moon is going to be at the helm. Just everything beginning to fall the way of Team BDS. Rise. It looked like he had this covered. It also looked like Jarali had missed his opportunity. But Monkey Moon, the 21 22 world champion, gets in there to put that one below the crossbar. That, however, is completely open and exotic. Leaves nobody behind, no witnesses, as BDS secure 3 0 in game five. Yet again, though, it's because Team BDS are starting to expect Kami and Corp shenanigans. As soon as the Tira came out, Rise... It absolutely was. It's another chance for Drani to come through. Bumps out of the way, makes it awkward. KC are being hounded in their own half. The amount of boost deals as well that BDS players are having as they're coming out. Drali beating Vatira clearly to the ball. Huge save from Atto. It's going to count for nothing because still it's 4-0. Four. Four BDS dominance in game number five and the angle from Drali for Sato for the save, who does wonderfully to get it, by the way, but exotic there again to poach. I mean, the game's over, but Carmine Corp would love a goal for the road here. It would do the world There's of one. good for their mentality. And I'm not getting louder and excited because I think all the comeback's on, but I think that matters in the next game. Mate, if you came out and you said, called my bluff The down, comeback's on! Oh, if only. <laughs> Three, obviously, unable to be come back from. And BDS, an, an astonishing game number five. The biggest goal difference that we have seen in any of our games so far. Wonderful play from them. That was also, oh, immediately you're luring somebody in. You, you, sometimes yeah. they're, they're getting two defenders to come out. Pass off the ceiling, Exotic is there. Oh! Everybody fakes. Oh! No problem. BDS, the benefactors. BDS, suddenly the finish line comes charging towards them as Atto and the Tira of all people. Charlie is up, but he's taking Anybody it out of the game. It's going to go into the back of the net. Maybe game seven approaches after all. Carmine Corp, let one go earlier. They're not going to let it happen again. Batira locks on, removes the player. It can happen from these spots. A kickoff going very neutrally. Exotic takes it back into the corner. Rise there with 100 boost. Tracks back nicely. Drali central. Nobody there for it. Moon does keep it. Oh, Drali gets a demo. It's relatively open. Drali there for his central. Oh! Just wide. No part. Moon's face. Six they still points. No, there's not one mistake too many. We saw the composure in game number six from BDS, and then they send two players erroneously towards that ball. Three minutes elapsed, only one goal gone in, and now Carmine Corp are allowing themselves to celebrate. Exotic there, he bats it. Shoots and scores. Late game heroics have been the absolute death of both teams in this series, and Monkey Moon gets it round Batira. Two seconds remain. It's the age-old duo, and he oh! swings it in. Monkey Moon approaches. He arrives at the near post. The continuous target. Atto, he gets the goal. Garmin Corp get their second open qualifier in a row. Carmine Corp remaining unbeaten in main events. And CJ, this was just wonderful. Uh, just got to say, we all came.